So, next step is to clean up. Uh, you have, you really have to clean up your model because if there is more, you can't have uh, end guns or anything in your model if you're going to import it in Mudbox. Mudbox will crash if you add subdivisions, and it's very annoying, especially when you have been working on a model and suddenly everything just crashes, and that really sucks. So. Let me show you how to check if your model is uh, is clean. Actually, I did this just before I started the lesson, and I found some mistakes. I didn't uh, clean them up just because I want to show you guys how to clean them up. So, um, reset settings. This is the default settings for the cleanup box. Um, I'm just going to select matching polygons because then it's going to select the errors. I have. If I choose faces with more than five si four sides, it will show me the faces that had more than four sides. <laughs> but you will not enough. Um, so this is what it shows, and I can see. Ah, uh, oops. This uh, polygon has more than four vertex, so I will have to clean that up. And the same in the bottom. In the bottom. If my English is a bit weird, it's because I'm from Denmark. I hope you guys can live with that. So, anyway, I select the edge and then press delete to get rid of that. And do the same. Same. And then it should actually be okay. If you want to, you can also... Uh, if you're unsure if there's any triangles or any stuff on your model, you can select you can make it select four sided faces and gonna press apply then it's gonna select everything and the things that are not selected are going to be the triangles you can also do like this and then if you hook let me just do that again sorry you select it press apply hold down control drag over your heart or object and then it's gonna select the opposite of what you got selected in my case there's no triangles so that's pretty cool. Next step is that when you model, it's uh, very important that your model is in zero, zero, zero coordinates. And uh, my heart is that, so that's just perfect. Another really good thing, or another really good thing that's very important, is to uh, freeze the transformation. This means that uh, in your channel box, you have these. Uh, transformations and they should all be zeroed out except scale that should be one and visibility on of course most of the time and down here you can see uh, some history this is uh, the vertex that I deleted and that's really not a good uh, idea you want your model as clean as possible before you take it into Mudbox that's why I'm going to uh, modify freeze transformation option box Reset setting. This is the default settings, and that's all fine. So I'm gonna press that. Um, that throws all the transformation out here. So get rid of the history. You just select the object. Delete by type. History. You can also delete all by type history. But uh, since it's only this object, I'm gonna delete the history on only the selected. And then I get rid of it. So we are almost ready for importing this into Mudbox. One last thing, um, this is pretty low poly. When you import this into Mudbox, it uh, it will make some annoying mistake because you will have these hard edges. Normally if I go to the UV uh, texture editor, you can see this is my UVs. And if I smooth this, Mess, smooth, option box. That's all fine. You can see the edges get smoothes all smooth also. Uh, Mudbox doesn't does not do this. So if you smooth it in Mudbox, it will have kind of hard edges. Um, I will show you. So this is my low poly. 
I'm going to export select it and I'm going to data I'm gonna call this hard low poly choose one um, and I'm gonna export it as an OBJ because ah okay I was gonna <laughs> export it as an OBJ but uh, before I can do that I have to uh, um, I have to apply the that I can export OBJ files. It's a bit annoying, but that's just the way my works. So I, I go into Windows, Setting Preferences, Plugin Manager, and in the Plugin Manager I find OBJ export. I'm gonna press load it, auto load, refresh maybe, and then close. And then we should be all fine. So now I can export selected. I'm gonna type hard low pearly CVC1 and I should be able to find there it is OBJ export. That's really nice. So I'm just gonna export it now. And then I'm thinking yeah it's all fine and everything is okay and I'm gonna go into Mudbox and make the most awesome thing ever. You can see, and finally it's open. I'm gonna find my file. Project, listen basic. Uh, data. Ah, okay. And I'm gonna select OBJs. Ah, did I put it in there? Uh, just a moment. Ah, put it in scenes. That's a bit of a mistake. Uh, I should put it in data because that's uh, the chosen. That should be the right folder. So I'm just gonna see if I can cut it. Um, yeah, I can. That's fine. So I'm gonna open it, and I got my heart. Wow, that's really nice. So I'm gonna select it, um, and then if I add subdivisions, Shift D, or add sub mess, add new subdivisions. You see that's all fine, and I'm gonna add a bit more, and I can work on it, you know, do some cool stuff. Shift D, one more. It's gonna be real nice, you know. <laughs> It's kind of look like a mess, but if you really work on it and you really make something nice, it will really suck because if you go to the UV uh, and you select it, hmm. I should be able to. Uh, That's a bit weird. I should be able to see it in here, but I'm not sure why it's not popping up. Hmm. Ah, I know. It's because I didn't. Uh, when you export your um, mesh, you have to uh, recreate. Yeah, recreate level UVs. So this means every time you do subdivisions, it won't have any UVs. So let's say you do seven subdivisions and you're about two million polygons or one million. You have to recreate the UVs to make a normal map or displacement map out of your high poly mess. So I'm just gonna recreate UV UVs and then I'm gonna look in my UV space and you can see even though it got a lot of a lot of polygons it still has these hard edges 
This means that when you export your map, it will kind of have some weird hard edges on it and it will look very weird and not very good. And it's very, very annoying, especially if you've been working on a model for 20 hours or something. I actually did it on my, my models. Uh, it was so annoying because I, I had to kind of fix it in Photoshop, you know, using smudge tool and kind of, uh, it, was, it was hell. So what you want to do before importing in Mudbox is you go to Maya and you have your model. So you go to Mess and you just smooth it. Maybe once, maybe twice. It depends on how big your model is, or how low, uh, sorry, how low poly your model is. I think this could be fine, but just in case, I'm gonna do it again. So now I'm definitely fine. That's a lot, and it looks very smooth. So I don't think it's gonna be a problem now. File export selected. Um, and I'm gonna go to the right folder now. So I can basically just take this name and type hi. So now I should be able to get the high poly hard in. Uh, don't save. Wow. Let me just check the UVs to be sure. Uh, it looks kind of weird still. Nah, actually it doesn't. It's only the edges that are hardened. In here it looks totally fine. Let me just check if it's the same in Maya. I'm sorry, uh, you might think oh, it's totally unprofessional that I'm making mistakes, but I actually think it's a good way to show you guys that these mistakes might come up and this is how you deal with them. So uh, I think that's a good way to handle it. Actually I'm just uh, gonna go back because I don't like the hard edges. So low body again. I'm gonna go to mess smooth smooth all mm, preserve yeah that's fine so I think it should be better now yeah much better I'm gonna do it again and export selected I'm just gonna rewrite it yes uh, now I actually got history again, so uh, the best way would be to delete the history. Now the problem is you can't really go back to the low poly. So it's very very important that you save AS and that you don't save uh, rewrite the file you already got because you really want the low poly just in case anything goes wrong, so I'm gonna call this hard uv002 save um, and then I'm going to export so I finally think that we are done with Maya we write again because I'm too lazy to write a new name and then I'm going to Check this awesome stuff out. Open high poly, don't save. Let's check the UVs. Ah, it looks relaxed and cozy. So, finally, we can get some uh, cool stuff going. <laughs>